at some point last summer, I adopted Alfredo, who is my white tree frog. Since I got Alfredo last summer, I quickly realized that white tree frogs were one of my absolute favorite species to keep as a pet. I think that they're just so fun and so amazing. So when I first got Alfredo last year, it was always my plan to get a second white tree frog to live with him. White tree frogs tend to do well in pairs or groups, so it was always my intention to find another frog. So despite my desire for a second white tree frog, I was not in any rush to get one. You know, I knew Alfredo was fine on his own, so I was fine with just waiting to get one when the time is right. And recently that time came and I got a second white tree frog. For the past little while, I have been keeping my eyes on Kijiji, which is a Canadian buy and sell website, to see if anyone was rehoming or selling any white tree frog. And in my area, I didn't see any pop up over the past few months until a couple days ago. And then just a couple days ago, I logged on to Kijiji and I found an ad for a female white tree frog for rehoming. So since I had been planning on getting one for a while and I had been on the lookout for one, I immediately messaged this person asking if their frog was still available and then we arranged for me to go and pick her up which is what I did. So now let's go ahead and meet Linguini. So I just went ahead and I opened up Linguini's bin. You can see her right there and I noticed upon opening it that uh she left me a nice little poop overnight. And despite it being what many might think is just a gross frog poop, I'm actually pretty happy to see this because I just got her. This is her first poop in my care. So it is, you know, just good to know that her digestive tract is working and that she is pooping fine. So uh, good job, Linguini, good, good poop. So this right here is Linguini, my new white tree frog, and I think she's so, so, so cute. So as far as her coloration goes, she's kind of a bluish green white tree frog. So white tree frogs do change their color a bit, so sometimes she appears more blue, other times she appears more green. But yeah, for the most part, she is a bluish green frog, and she is also a snowflake white tree frog, so you can see a few tiny little uh, white spots on her here. So here's a brief look at Linguini's current setup. So right now she is in this, uh, <laughs> excuse me, you can't climb out. Let's go back. So as I was saying, for now she is in this quarantine tub setup. So this is basically just so that I can closely monitor her and make sure she's healthy. You know, since she is going to be living with Alfredo in the future, I obviously want to make sure that she's not carrying any diseases or parasites or anything that could then be passed on to Alfredo. So for now she is living in this pretty simple quarantine setup. So the substrate is just paper towel. Paper towel works pretty well for these guys because you can keep it basically as humid as you want to and then she does have just this one uh, fake plant in here so it's kind of like a fake monstera plant I just got this from Michaels and then she does have one cork branch in here as well as a water dish that's large enough for her to soak in so obviously this is a pretty minimal setup but it still does give her everything that she needs while she's in quarantine and assuming that her quarantine goes well and she doesn't have any issues come up she should only be in here for a couple weeks and then she'll be moving in with Alfredo. So as previously mentioned, after Linguini's quarantine period is up, she's going to be moved into Alfredo's bioactive enclosure with him. So let's go ahead and take a look at Alfredo's current enclosure and Linguini's future enclosure. So this enclosure that you see right here is Alfredo's current enclosure. So this is an 18 by 18 by 24 Exoterra, which in my opinion is a good size for one or two white tree frogs, but I probably wouldn't put more than that in here. Ever since I first set up this enclosure, it has grown in so much. Mainly the pothos, like the pothos are the main plant in this enclosure that are just really, really growing in the entire thing. It used to be way 
more empty than this. You can see Alfredo is just sitting up on this like cork log here. He's kind of, you know, behind this leaf. So both Alfredo and Linguini have pretty similar colors and patterns. They're both kind of a greenish blue tone. You know, white tree frogs can change colors. So sometimes he looks a lot more blue. Sometimes he looks a lot more green. Same with Linguini. But yeah, they have the similar greenish blue color. And then they're also both snowflakes white tree frogs. So they both have these white spots on them. So they are a little bit hard to tell, but Alfredo is a male and Linguini is a female. And Alfredo does have some more spots than Linguini does. So I think it'll be pretty easy to tell them apart. So Alfredo has been living in this enclosure by himself for a few months now and he's been doing well the entire time. So I think that once Linguini is in here as well, I think that they are both just going to thrive. At least, you know, that is the hope. So it's hard to see because of all of the plants and stuff, but this enclosure does have a background that I made myself. So in the back, it goes right up to the top, but then along this side here, I created sort of like a ledge with the background. Uh, this side here is just completely glass, so it is kind of just a two-sided background. And there is this cork log that is foamed into the back. Alfredo loves to just perch up there. I think it's really cute. There is a mushroom ledge right there with another mushroom ledge right there. And then I have these two uh, cork branches in the enclosure, and then there's just like one other random cork branch. And there are lots and lots of leaves in here. So right here we have a four super worms coated in calcium powder. So I'm going to be offering two of them to Linguini and two of them to Alfredo. All right, Linguini, you ready for some food? I fed Linguini the other day, so she has eaten in my care already. I fed her a silkworm and she really, really loved it. So let's see how she thinks about these super worms. <laughs> there we go. I have a feeling Linguini is now ready for her second worm. So let's go ahead and, yeah, there we go. <laughs> One of my favorite things about feeding white tree frogs is just how they use their hands. Like they'll literally grab the worms and stuff with their hands. I think it's so fascinating. All right, and now it's Alfredo's turn. Alfredo is just always ready to eat at all times. Man, I'm really bummed that the leaves got in the way of that because it was super funny to see. Alfredo is by far one of my favorite animals to feed just because he really like just puts his whole body into it. I think it's so funny. You know, white tree frogs in general just tend to be like that, which I think is one of the reasons why I like them so much because it's just so fun feeding them. I tried to uh, move the leaves out of the way this time. So hopefully you'll see that one better which I think he did, but it wasn't as funny as the first one, but that's okay. Alfredo got his worms, yay. So that is really all that I have for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed meeting Linguini, seeing her quarantine enclosure, seeing her future enclosure, seeing Alfredo, and watching them eat. I guess a lot of fun frog things happened in this video, so I do really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, it would mean a ton to me if you gave this video a big thumbs up, and also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future uploads. Also be sure to check out all of my social media. I want to give a special shout out to my TikTok TikTok because I've been uploading on there recently and people have been enjoying it. So uh, check out my TikTok if you don't follow me already, as well as the rest of my social media. It will all be down in the description below. All right, so I am just going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I do really, really appreciate it. So with all that said, I am just going to go ahead and end the video now. Thank you all so much for watching. I do really appreciate it and I hope to see you all in my next video.